Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Gangsland99 here with another episode of uh, a card game. Hello, I'm Penny. <laughs> I win. <laughs> I think I can go higher than that, but I'll run it out. Uh, okay, I will not attempt to go higher than that. Uh, either way... <laughs> There is an episode missing, or rather one turn missing, because you may recall last time we ended this with this being games test then. And by the way, this is Pangolin and Advisor here, I didn't actually introduce myself. But yeah, anyway. His I turn... introduced you as Panny. That's no, that doesn't qualify. Anyway, his turn, unfortunately, was recorded poorly on my end since I did not remember to swap my scenes. And his entire turn lasted for 35 minutes, so I was like, you know what, Game Slayer, just have this as an exclusive and we'll start a new episode, and he was yeah, fine. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's kind of... The, the, the video was kind of corrupted by a smaller screen in the middle of it, which was of my video, so, like, you've only ever seen my perspective anyway. So. Exactly, so just go to his channel if you want to see the missing link, which is for the most part a battle that had a lot of lining, a lot of bodies, and not a lot of it, frames. It was a, it was a battle. It, it was a 40 versus 40, Skaven versus Dark Elves uh, on the walls. And uh, mm -hmm. our, our PCs did in fact crash once trying to record it already. Yeah, that was hilarious. Well, not for me yeah. at, at that point, but later on it was hilarious. Yeah. The, the, the sheer amount of units because Skaven is Skaven. There's a reason why they have their own separate benchmark. Oh yeah, absolutely. It did unfortunately force me to potentially lower my settings in the future times when I play as a Skaven. So I'll re need to remember to do that because I don't know if I actually did remember to do that. Hmm. Oh well. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Meanwhile, I'm going to send my army. So, first of all, I made my army disrupt the enemy in camp stance because the enemy ran away from my army since I would kill this hero with a uh, Kaminian skink. No issues. But I don't have the time to hand them down simply because there's a rebellion going on and if I let it grow too much, it's gonna be a problem. Granted, right now it's suffering attrition, it only has skeleton spearmen and fell bats, that's not an issue. Sigurd of Dawn can handle them. I have a Vampire Fleet Captain, Death Guard, which are very formidable, and a few other units as well. But as there's rebellion grows, it's gonna be an issue, so I need to get their ASAP. As I wait for my hero to come back to me, I could perform a ride a curse of the eternal service, but there's no need. My people actually kind of like me. Which brings me to my next point. In order to try to make up for all the mistakes I did last time, I need an entirely new plan and I need maybe not a fresh start, although that would be appreciated, but I need to try to do something to make up for everything that I did wrongly. So, Ziggurat of Dawn will no longer have oh Deccan's Boneyard. It gave me basically nothing that I couldn't raise dead anyway, and I would much rather have caronades. All mortals are fine too, but caronades will allow me to take down the gates and towers that guard Hyokstol. Especially since you know I lost my main hero, so those would be useful to have. Just Ooh. wait, tw just wait twenty turns for Queen Bess to come back. I will have Queen Bess as well, but having a few caronades to help Queen Bess would be very nice, wouldn't it? Meanwhile, Skeggy is going to destroy the Vampiric Corruption structure since I have okay amount of Vampiric Corruption and even with what I have already, I have positive public order. So I can get rid of that, get working on something else. For instance, I can start working towards getting some proper deck droppers. Deck droppers with handguns in particular are exceptionally cost effective. They have humongous amount of missile damage for what they have and they cannot really be fired back at. So that's something I will really want to have. And of course Death, Freak, Death Shriek Terrorgeist. Really a awesome powerful unit. Used to be exclusive to Vampire Lords, but uh, Vampire Counts I mean. But as a Vampire Coast you have a different version of it which is uh, more Jack of all trades than, Death Freak, than the Terrorgeist the, vamp the other vampires have. But nevertheless, it's very effective. I want that. Those will be awesome addition to any army. Also, I'll have Swamp Town go for lynching posts, so that maybe Skeggy can grow a little bit faster. Right now, it's growing fairly slowly. Actually, not that slowly, now that I look at it. Finally, my technology. Uh, Kingslayer was making an argument that I'm not going for the best thing in the universe with unlimited labor force. The more I think about it, the more I kind of agree with him, despite me not wanting to. 
but I'm already halfway through it. It's already been 5 tens out of 10. I feel like, you know what, I'm gonna finish it anyway. It's only 5 tens and I'm so far behind. It's not that big of a deal. And what I'm going to do afterwards is... Well, going for Regiments of Renown, which I ignored thus far. And it should be pretty easy to kill those va those, uh, uh, those uh, pirates on the sea to get the Regiments of Renown. They don't have a very powerful army except for the Mortars and Great Cannons. And finally, uh, that's an issue. There's Lufu Harkin, who is luring about and probably about to declare po war on Port River and take it over for himself. He, he might not take it over, he might just establish a pirate cove. If he does that, that will be annoying, but I'll be fine with it. Either way, he would be a pushover, a total pushover if I had a proper army. Those uh, zombie mm -hmm. pirate gunnery mob with bombs, it's actually really, very bad. Like, it needs a bath, honestly, because they only have three shots, they are not very good shots, and after they use those shots, they have abysmal melee stats. So, they can be taken care of very easily by just sending a few mid shields at them. Two blooded corpses, not an issue. The laughable animated hawks, also not an issue. There's nothing strong in this army whatsoever, except for Lufren Harkon himself. But that's it. And Mongols, they are good too. In a way, I did everything I needed to, although I could talk with somebody. Vampire Coast doesn't want a peace treaty, a non-aggression pact rather. Besides, they're unreliable, so they can break that quite easily. So what I could do instead is maybe talk with somebody else. Who would I want to talk with uh, is a good question, however. I could try to talk back with the Exiles of Nehek. See if I can get a different trade offer with them, but no, they just don't like me and they're going to continue disliking me. The Lanathophic whatevers are really weak right now. It seems like they just lost a fight. You might be able to get an aggression with them. Uh, Sodex something? I don't see a faction. Oh, Zanzivers. I see. Mm. Uh, they are unfriendly anyway, and they are enemies with the orcs, and I want orcs to be friends with me. Okay. So, yeah, orcs are more scary anyway, so I need to watch out for them. I could bribe the exiles. I won't do that. I feel like I'm going to actually he butt heads with them later on. So, end my turn. Over to you. For those of you who did not watch my video, you have had plenty of time to leave and watch my video now, so I have no problem with showing that I won the fight! Yeah! Yeah, <laughs> that he did. was never established. Yeah, I did kill a lot of units, but only a few stacks, unfortunately. Yeah, I did kill um, some. They heal really quickly, like yeah. Mm -hmm. Good old Admiral Balthazar here with his uh, with the with the tower. Just rename your Admiral, Admiral to Agba. No, Balthazar. you know you want to. Admiral Balthazar with the Blessed Dread, uh, and his unique model that I really haven't looked at much, but there it is. Yeah, it's great. Uh, yeah. And uh, Locke here is now a level 10. He could get Eternal Hatred, which, uh, no. Um, I'm going <laughs> to go for the second level adorable. of Rave Leader. Do you improve my... Rave Leader? That's the best type of leader. <laughs> a what leader? Rave Leader. I would love to visit him at his parties. Oh, you think... Mm, okay, well, no. I disagree. Grace, not kind of my thing. Anyway, uh, that increases the power of my shades and dark riders. And now I've got two in all of these stats, which are all very important low level stuff. Uh, I'll be able to actually start going through this tree a bit. Maybe go for straight, get strength through spire, spite, and then maybe go for some other things. But I've also can, at that point, I'll have this tree, my unique tree, which I'm probably going to want to go through. Uh, until then, Jesus, Circus, you are really yelling. All right, go on then. Go to the altar of the horned rat. Reveal that it's Skaven. All right, there we go. Now, uh, I could potentially take this fight. I despise anything I can't turn. Which is just a testament to how weak they are. That I could actually take this fight even with no siege at all. But I am going to make a battle now, <laughs> and I am going to wait for my uh, other lord, uh, Lockheed Felhart, to get over there so that he can provide uh, reinforcement. I'm sorry for laughing in the middle of uh, your elaborate explanation, but um, it turns out the cat that lives where I happen to live actually is into vodka, which I would never guess. Uh, what? 
She seems real interested in vodka. I'm not giving it to her, I'm responsible, but uh, she liked it. Uh, the smell of it, at any rate. Uh huh. Well, that's important information I needed to share with the viewers. Okay, that, fine. All right. Well, I'm in a bit of a bit of a negative uh, upkeep overall, but uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, great expansion mode. And if I want to deal, help deal with my upkeep, I can get this, which will decrease the upkeep cost by ten. Set. Uh. Awesome, because uh, yeah, the Gogatru Black Heart is going to take a while, guys. Uh, Thankfully, very, very expensive. I'm already behind, I don't want you to get that. Also, um, I know what Lufur is doing in my place. He's got the loot dig for treasure icon. I think he just wants to dig for treasure. Uh-huh. Hopefully. I could start going for some high-level stuff, go go for the cold ones and Black Guard Please and Please don't! Nagarok. Please but, don't! Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't really care about them. Oh, Cold thank knights are good, but I've got Dark Riders and I'm buffing my Dark Riders. Um, so I don't really want to spend the extra expense on them. You actually uh, have a point. The Black Guards of Nagareth, well, they're also really good, but again, like, I do have the Corsairs, which is supposed to be really, really good and kind of my thing. The thing is, Black Guards are not there to be replacement for Corsairs. Black Guards are there to deal with uh, enemy large armored units. And they're amazing for that matter. Right, but still, it feels very... Mm. Yeah, but what do you really have against large armored units? I have Lockheed Felhart. Aside from him, what if I've sent... Uh... I have Dark Shots. Mm... Sure, what if I sent five uh, Death Freak Terror Guys at your Dark Shots? They will be tied up in melee. Mm -hmm. Not exactly look, like I'm, look, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go for either to get some more, some better sorceresses or going for the black dragons, right? Go black dragons. We all know black, black dragons, dragons can probably beat those those streak of whatevers, you know? I believe they can, yeah. Yeah, th thank you. But um, this is all gonna happen later because I don't have money. Uh, well, I have money, <laughs> but I don't have enough money that I would want. Meanwhile, I'm gaining uh, twenty six hundred per turn. <laughs> But I think it's worth it still to build the Warrior's Hall, uh, just so that I can have the option to go for the um, Bolt Throwers, uh, if I need to, for the Siege. Oh yeah, that would be amazing. Uh, meanwhile over here, my Public Order is back in the negatives by a little bit. It'll take a while for it to fully go, but I don't know, I could always... Hmm. It's tempting to just start stacking Slave Pens in this place, honestly. I'm not sure if they stack. But I could start stacking that, rather than going for this torture post. But the torture post does improve my public order. But honestly, I don't really have the money to spend on either of them. This is kind of just a fanciful dream at the moment. I should really just wait until the next turn, when I get to conquer the altar of the horned rat. And somebody tried to hinder my replenishment, which was a failure. Which I'm happy about. I'm being raided by the rebels, which everybody knows. How, what do they have now? I do not know. But they keep being gaining attrition, so I don't really have to worry about them. They will die anyway. Which is kind of hilarious. Maybe I should just let them die. And keep I don't think they'll die. I, th I still think they'll grow more than they'll die. Eventually they'll overtake the settlement strength. Mm, you may have a point. Besides, marrying them would give my heroes some more level up. And how much can the Lizard Man recruit in a single turn, really, right? Wait, oh, Mazumud is back. Hmm. That's an issue. Hmm. And he... If well, you attacked those guys, he would have to... He would potentially have to come and defend. I'm, I'm worried about something else. The enemy army is right next to Hyokstow. If I were to attack this small army, then oh. Hyokstow's garrison would join it, and I cannot defeat if, the garrison. Yeah. If he's joining, then Hyokstow the army will join. Uh, he is in yeah. March stance, though. Uh, he is, he just spawned, it doesn't matter what stance he is in. The thing is, either way, I really hope he doesn't go he for Swamp Down. Minutes, he did not I re really regret taking away the Watch Posts from Swamp Down, which would help with defend from the Lizardmen, but I never expected to lose my entire army, so, you know. Anywho. You could always declare peace. I could, they would be even interested in that, but I'd rather lose a city and matter and get my revenge later than not, because I'm a very vengeful person. Oh, 
Level 3 pulls, finally. It only increases my income by 200. I I was thinking more for the recruitment options of recruiting all those heroes. But... Those are lords, not heroes. Vampire oh, Fleet lords, Captains. Okay. Not that interesting. Actually, wait. No, they are heroes. They are heroes, you're right. I was going to say, you already have a lord. How else would you... But I'm more interested in the Ganner White. Which, speaking of, what do I need for the Ganner White? He's amazing and I need him because he lets my Queen Bess fire more frequently. I need the Armory of the Soulless. Let's click to view in building browser. Okay. I... There we go. It's... Ooh, it's that easy to get. And it requires me to get other things I don't really care about. I so regret losing the Ganner White. He was amazing. And mm. this construction chain... Really, the only thing it's useful for is rotting Prometheus Ganner Mob. Because I can raise the handgun zombie pirate gunnery mob uh, without having the structure. So the and the hand cannons are really underpowered actually. So the only thing that I would get the structure for would be the gunnery white himself and nothing else. Seems like a waste of money, although he's really good. But no, I think the priority for me right now would be getting uh, the flying units, which are some of the strengths of the vampire coast. So I'm gonna. That is really odd. What is? That the flyers are the strength of the vampire coast. I think it makes sense. Doesn't it? No. Well, um, when you're in the ship to ship combat, you want the flyers to help you, right? I think it makes a good degree of sense. Sure, but I mean, I would have expected their strength to be in their gunpowder, because they're a gunpowder faction. I mean, the flying units have gunpowder, they have handguns, that's the point. They're really good, they are yes, flying archers, well, handgunners, really. Anyway, I will upgrade my port. Oh, that, that we'll, we'll means I will spend all my money. The black dragon in the sky. And I don't want to spend all of my money, really. I think I'll upgrade Port Reaver, potentially, if it's not in immediate danger, and it seems like Lufu can actually went away. So I will upgrade Port Reaver. I think the enemy will not he, take he, it instantly. He did not find that treasure he was looking for. Or he did, <laughs> and he left. One or the other is an option. So I can... Although if I don't upgrade Port Reaver, it will be easier to upgrade Skeggy, and Skeggy is more important to upgrade. So never mind. I will upgrade the uh, port to get Smuggler's Thingy, which gives me more money, alongside other benefits, I'm and potentially more heroes, which I don't care about too much, but oh well. The enemy rebellion you, you've will... got some really good income going in there at 1,500 so far. Yeah, the enemy rebellion will grow for one more turn, which will make it scary, but because it keeps suffering attrition, I think my other army will still be able to take it. I could raise some dead, but actually there are no dead left in this region. Maybe the skeletons already raised the dead? I don't know. Hero not moved... oh yeah. It's uh, the same region as Hexital, so... That's a fair point, and I already raised everything I, did, I could in there. So that would be why. My army is in force match stand, so if the rebels go after me, this could actually be somewhat painful, but hopefully not too much. I will lose Womp down, most likely. I'm tempted to cancel Injic Bolts, in fact. Can the enemy make it in one turn to, to where I am? Yeah. Seems like they no. can. Seems like they can. I'll cancel Injic Bolts, save my money. I mean, you could. Hmm. Although it's already been constructed for one turn. Oh, okay, yeah, he could. Yeah, you clicked on him. Fair enough. Yeah, I'll, I will cancel it. I will cancel it, save my money, and just Pretty use cool it. those watchtowers, I guess. Nah, uh, I won't make the watchtowers. I think by the time... If I can make them in time, then it means they are not interested in attacking me over there anyway, so it's a po uh, waste. Anyway, and this does allow me to make something in Ziggurat of Dawn. Question is what... Oh yeah, I was talking about guns. Cannons, to be more precise. I will get some cannons. So let's get wor working on that. I don't think the enemy will attack Ziggurat this time. They could actually take it over. But I have a lot of income per turn. I am not risking that much since. Actually, I need that money to grow my army. If they attack, so far they have a crappy army, but next time they will have a better one. What do you think? Should I not make anything in Ziggurat of Dawn just to be safe? I do have a hero in there. which uh, And it's a spellcaster as well, so this gives me an advantage. And they also have a spellcaster hero, is the awkward part there. Mm. I have Death Guard, however, which are an elite harbored infantry unit. They are armored and they regenerate when they deal damage to the enemy units. 
that seems pretty good considering I don't think they have any armor piercing. Yeah. Just All gotta right. be wary of the. Just gotta be wary of the grenades. Grenades? They have no grenades. They just have skeletons. And the bats. Oh, it was Hawk on the hat grenades, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just purely skeleton of heavy army with spears yeah, actually, that's not salt. Dead, isn't it? That's why they're taking nutrition, even though. Yeah, got and they only have spears, not salts. Spears aren't very good against infantry, so I think I'm good. I think I can take the chance. Worst case scenario, I'm earning 2600 gold per turn. I can take a loss yeah. of 2000. So I'll end by 10, over to you. You gotta take risks. I gotta. I mean, at this point, I took so many risks, stupid ones even. Might as well continue. Mm -hmm. Alright, imminent rebellion in the headhunter's jungle, that's fine, because I'm about to do something far more de deadly. I'm gonna actually take a place. Mm hmm So, uh, I can't tell because of the trees, but, uh, I think Harkon should help with this. Harkon? Fell heart, got that? Get closer <laughs> to that You're not vampire ghost, mate. Alright, um... You're wanting to manual this? 75-ish? It is 75-ish, and the enemy has a helping abomination of all things. Yeah! Alright. I'm kind of afraid I'll run out of Windows of Magic very quickly with double uh, Warlock Engineer, but at least that means more DPS. And frankly, I don't think the time is on my side here. Alright, let's send those guys. Plus I move forward with these guys. And all of the units start reinforcing, and it's awkward, and ah, everything. See, I did have range. That's awesome. Oh, you did. That's that's annoying. Get <laughs> out of that. All of you guys, all of you guys that keep coming, keep keep going this way. Keep running, keep running, run, run, run. Get out <laughs> of that tower as range as fast as possible. I could try to focus fire of my tiles, and in fact I should. Yeah, you, but, you definitely should. But I don't feel like it. I'll be honest with you, I'm a very lazy player. Shades over. An army ability has spawned a unit. Oh no! Oh no indeed. You can, I feel like you just waste that. Because you pull them out on the open plane. I hit. You put them out in the open plane, ready to be hit, just so that my dark riders can just run them straight down. Yeah, I guess what I was trying to do. Delay you, so that I can use that. That was somewhat effective. Thank you. Fine. Unfortunately, in this fight, I do not have the ability which allowed me to blow up my own units, which was a very fun thing that Skaven can do when they're defending the settlement. Right, Don't pick up the goddamn Baron Ram. Did you lose it? Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> there we go. I think they all got. I think they all ran off, jumped off of it when I. Um... I think they all jumped off of it when I uh, started yelling at them to move out of the way. Hmm. All right, there goes those clan rats. Remember, those are clan rats. And? Shields and everything, you know, they're just, you know, they're big, they're a deal. Oh, where's that? Okay. Your Manticore is kind of mad. <laughs> it's fine by me. My lord is I have stone vermin. <laughs> Alright, where did it land? On top? Sure, let's go ahead and kill it. Where did what land? Nothing, ignore it. Oh, great, my manticore's been- my manticore's raging, that's what's going on, alright. It is ever so slightly, yeah. Slightly. Run, 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 run! Nah, yeah, somewhat dodged it. Only somewhat. Get them out of the way of the battering ram! More lightning! More! 
So much warp lightning. Just more and more units pile into that. Eventually they'll break. <laughs> Alright, just go all the way around them and surround them already. Okay. Looks like the Manticore is basically dead. Pity. Pity it went raging and that's happened. So well. I don't think I can actually finish it off. As sad as it is, it's gonna run away again. I have no archers in the area. Should have thought about that, but did, I didn't expect a Manticore to do the same thing again. It really likes doing that, doesn't it? You guys need to pick up the Baron Ram again. I'm really bad at even trying to dodge. Why can't the... the it, there isn't like a, a hotkey to, to like auto... To like oh, auto dodge, out. you wish. There was a hotkey to... There was a spread out hotkey in like other games, like Command and Conquer, you know? Just saying. Spread out? No, there wasn't a spread out. Actually, there was, you're right. Oh, there was. I mean, there was no need to ever use it, but there was. <laughs> Man, this firepower from your army. Can you just stop? No, I'll make it as painful for you as humanly possible. My archers are gonna start firing now. They're still getting into position. <laughs> Use the battering ram already! Stop it with all these goddamn scaven... No, I'll not let you use that. I want you to stay here and take damage. Honestly, I should take my units off of the walls, since you're not even trying to climb them, and you're just peppering me with missile fire. Yeah. No, I didn't think totally about that. Shielded. No, mine are. Uh, maybe some of them are, you're right. Haha, <laughs> you're wasting a murderous prowess. Those extra clan rests don't count towards the cap, so... The damage is needed, so... Oh, where's that coin? Ow. Okay. Just accept that they're getting hit. <laughs> where's that one? Over there. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty good one. Thank you. Trying my best. You will eventually run out of magic. Alright. The battering ram is breaching the gate slowly. Now I relinquish control of my towers, I could keep punishing you. My bad. Oh, that's why you you need to stay up there. Right. Duh. Yeah, duh. Oh no, I'm out of magic. That's a shame. I feel like you're lying to me. I'm not actually. No! Okay, that hurt really badly. These clan rats are just dying too quickly to even do anything, man. You, you really wasting your spawns. I'm preventing your archers from firing in my opinion. Uh, what else would I use those spawns for already? Tell me. Uh, in front of the gates, lock everything up, I guess. Alright, the gate has been breached. Where am I cool, so right, I'm finally putting my archers on top of the walls like I should have done at the start of this fight. I completely... Why weren't you? Because I, for some reason I thought you were going to climb over the walls and instead you decided not to, which really confused me actually. Hmm. Could have dealt so much more damage there, but oh well, again, that's something that will let me learn for the future. It's very important. I make a lot of mistakes, but I learn from my mistakes. Sometimes. Pretty far away. Yeah, yeah. Did you actually manage to break down? Oh yeah, I broke down the gate. Nice. Congratulations. I hear it's already there. Oh, I know this thing. 
my chase just be firing the whole time. Oh, okay, that's good. Oh, that's gonna be a fat spell. Now for my magic. That was a really effective plot. It was. I think counter it with some more magic of my own making. Did you run out of magic? Uh, did you did that recharge? I am not out of reserves. I'm just out of my current amount of magic. Ah, oh, okay. That's how you. That's how you play. Play them right. Oh, this head so bad. Or so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Uh, no. <laughs> I would not want to be you in your situation right now. Hey, that's Skaven at least, not me. <laughs> I mean, it's fair. Oh my god. <laughs> What the hell is Lock here anyway? Is he, he's my. <laughs> I don't know what's my abomination playing, but I assume it's doing alright. Actually, no, it decided I mean, it's it might way too far. It was doing really well until, I, until my archers got No, it went too far away. It went way too far away. I let it do its own thing, and it was like, hey, maybe I should walk forward. No, 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 you should not. I'd rather you did it. Go back. You're the only thing that's keeping me in this fight. You need to have high morale, and you need to have high killing power. So just run. Meanwhile, it looks like my black, uh, my dread spears have now managed to scale the walls where your archers are. Because there was no point scaling the walls until after you put all your archers there. <laughs> I do have night runners. They're good many combatants. And also, I see you trying to walk for the other gate. Hmm. And you know what? I'll let you. Thank you. I mean, what else can I do? I want to do as much damage to you as I possibly can, and I know you're going to take the settlement. Alright, Harkon, let's go. What is he doing? Uh, he's not doing anything, um, but my sorceress is imp has just improved his... Do you know uh, why and if he's not doing damage. anything? Because it's... he's not Harkon! It's Lockyer Fairheart, you don't even know the name of your own lord! Oh, oh, this I, I, also, whole... this fat landing just managed half of your army with one hit, it's lovely. Whoops. The, your unit is in your army is in one giant blob in the middle of uh, in right in front of the gate. It's hilarious what they're doing. Ready, ready. I mean, I'm out of reserves again, so I need to wait for them to replenish. So yeah, I'll I stop. love how the towers have taken 11% damage because they just blocked so many arrows. <laughs> Why is that routing? Uh, it's a scaling thing. Yeah, scaling to do that. Thankfully, Abomination has regeneration, so even though it took a humongous amount of damage, I mean, it's still low on health, but it's not that bad. He's not regenerating enough, yeah. I mean, he's got more than he did when he went out of the gate. Actually, why am I psycho charging him? He's got a dismal charge bonus. He's supposed to just sit there and murder. No, I don't know. I thought he's got a better charge bonus, honestly, because he's so big, but no, he's a fat bastard. He just wants to sit there and eat. Mm -hmm. Uh, but look at the charging animation, it's awesome. <laughs> uh, busy, busy playing the game, sorry. <laughs> uh, I am as well, come on. Alright, all of you scaven and retreated. I want you to go back in there and kill some things while you still can, maybe. How's the cavalry doing? Any closer? Oh wow, 37 gate damage. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I didn't try to block them. By the time they knock out the gate, yeah. you really are going to be dead. Yeah, they're really slow. All right, he's running away. No, abomination did it again. Get back, get back, crazy man. Oh, beautiful swipe. Keep going at this, Harkon. Not Harkon. Not Harkon. Look here, Felhart. Congratulations on your victory at this day. 
Also, I'm changing your name, apparently. These walking pros are actually doing really well. I just keep forgetting to use them. Yeah, I did tell you it's a very good spell. Yeah, I was pretty sure it was a good spell, but I wasn't certain. Because the, cause the unit card on it's terrible. The spell card, should I say. No, no, this isn't Yu-Gi-Oh, there is no spell card. Ah! Humor. Was that humor, really? Also, I have a unit of clan rats that's reducing. It's broken and routing. It has full leadership. How does it make sense? Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see them. The, the, the thing is, if you... Um... Alright, apparently yeah. all of my units just... Uh, all of them routed very quickly. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I, I think the... The helmet didn't even die, huh? Yeah, no, it didn't. If it died, that'll make sense, but I'm not sure what triggered the chain route. Because something did. Um, my cavalry arrived, I know that, but I don't think they managed to charge through the gate properly. Yeah, they didn't when I already started breaking all across the board. I wonder why. Also, the battle is still going, even though all of my units routed. What's uh, I should just press the unbattle button, sorry. Oh, thank you. I was you. trying to figure out, I was looking around trying to figure it out. My Warlocks Engineer did 156 and 110 uh, damage. I mean, kills. And that's basically uh, yeah, all of my lot, kills. A lot of the shades. Oh my god, the Feral Lance Gold lived, yeah. Yeah, look at its HP. That's like one. 48 kills from Felicin, that's pretty good. Um, oh my god, those Skaven Slingers did nothing. Yeah, literally nothing. None of your units did anything except the Warlock Engineers. Abomination did something. At least. No wonder they ran away, they couldn't do anything. Yeah, it's surprising, really. I thought it was... I was like better than I did, but I guess it was literally all just landing cannons. Now, sacking would give me a lot, but no, I need to loot an artifact because I want this Rose. place. And I have conquered it with three turns remaining for the plus ten scrolls. Yeah! Good job. And Spittle are dead? So sad. So sad. Mm -hmm. I couldn't save the Spittle. I tried, yeah, it feels like it's but I couldn't. Slow. Does it? Enchanted item, I course I icon here. Yeah. yeah, my scroll speed on my map just. Maybe really I should slow. stop scrolling so much. I think that's the issue. Yeah, whatever. No, it, it, I'm pretty sure it's me. But anyway, she got uh, the Iron Curse icon for the 10% mess I was sure. Fell shield? Yeah. Is there anything I actually want from that? Because, uh. Yeah, I, I thought so. Oh, I didn't have an armor, so spell shield! Yeah! yeah. Armor! And he didn't level up. He got barely an XP in that fight. That's sad. Guess it was so one-sided. Um, she did though, so she can level. Uh, I don't know what I want to give her. I didn't think this far through. <laughs> you never do. You never do. She's your um, only caster right now, and she's a good one. She isn't a caster. Oh, you're talking about somebody else. Talking about the hero, the war, the lord. Oh, I see. Just give her your sensibilities. You already are far ahead. Uh. Hmm. Really don't know what to give her. To make her herself pretty good, but that seems worthless. It's true. No. This tree. No. Go 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 for that recruit cost reduction. Recruit on her end, give it to her. No, I want her to kind of, I want her to be uh, semi-autonomous. I want her to be able to be on her own and do fine. So, um, I'm just going to give her Chief Master. I'll start that tree. Now, as for you, Sorceress, you are the... You are the really good character. I don't know why I was going to go with that. Yeah, um... Pretty sure you should just uh, upgrade the Flock of Doom. Yep. Because now you can Absolutely. overcast it, and that's going to be amazing. It already is. I'm really scared by it. It's really good against Skaven. And uh, let's start repairing this altar of the Horned Rat with all the money we just got from sacking it. <laughs> House of Exile. Ooh, this, this place already has shades. Nice. Into it. And you can get a landmark, Temple of Hakari, for the Winds of pow Magic Power with... Scrolls. It's basically scrolls. Yeah, that's what it is for. Also, it gives you a Verisven Garrison. Check it out. I don't think yeah. you checked it. 
I did. It did? Okay. Yeah, he gives me a black dragon. That's my point. Yeah, it's pretty pretty, pretty good. And uh, yeah, I think I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You made me doubt you made me doubt of yourself since, you know, you didn't instantly click it. Um Yeah, this place is just gonna revolt. But I'll put it on demand type or hailings anyway. Um, the revolt is gonna be quite short lived considering my army's nearby. <laughs> um, yeah. Lockyer needs to heal himself, but he can't reach it anywhere in one turn anyway. So you might as well just go onto the road a bit. There you go. Balthazar can now get to the gigant gargantuan Black Ark. Oh, that's so terrifying. I'm so dead. I'm just hoping the rest of the universe unites against you, because that's that would that's what would it would take to actually stop you, I think, at this point. With that money I could start recruiting Hydras. Hydras are adorable. Now nah, I'll upgrade to the Gargantuan Black Ark. You oh, crap. I was hoping you would make the wrong decision. <laughs> Alright, well, I think I'm just going to keep going up the coast here, honestly. Um, unless I want to kill the Tomb Kings again. Yeah, I'm just going to keep going up the coast. I'll probably uh, cut through Skaven here and go into the uh, uh, Lord Harkon's territory and start going for the Vampire Lords. I got the name right this time, because it was the same name. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Oh yes, the Skaven. We um, we lost our trade agreement last time, didn't we? Uh, but oh, there's there's still trade. We we still got trade. You don't want to improve our trade agreement. Ah, I would get more than they would now. Okay, so I have more things to trade. Got it. They have more things to give me than I have to give them. Got it. I don't really know how trade works in this game much. But yeah, it's imminent rebellion, it's fine. And uh, do I want to form a right yet? Nah, I'm fine. I'll end my turn. Excellent. You see, just take a while, man. Oh, they absolutely do. I'm attacked by Lord Mazdamundi. The stupid, crappy big fat mm. tilde. A quick save. Because I assume you want to fight this, it's supposedly even ish. I don't believe it is, but uh, hey, uh, whatever, maybe. I don't have a lord. Uh, that's not even even. I'm just gonna lose without a lord. I think. I mean, it's your choice. This is not a particularly important army for you to lose, so I don't care either way. It's a settlement. You're gonna lose on the auto battle, so it's whether or not you want to fight. I'm trying to make a calculated decision. I think you commanding it. No, I'm gonna lose either way. I'm fine with this all being auto battle. Okay. All right, auto resolve it is. Goodbye settlement. It was nice knowing you. Unless they just sack it, which I would be happy. Hey, lost the skink. Yeah, they just sacked it. Yeah, I mean, he's got factory corruption and all that lot. It's not a very nice thing to have. I mean, I'm happy. This means that I still have my bronze bonus going for me. My army is now ready to fight against the rebels. What do they have? They have a few more units. It should be an easy victory for me right there. And then I will need to punish Mazdamundi, who is suffering attrition due to vampire corruption. So I'm very happy about that. If you click your units, could, could you just check that they don't have the melee boat bonus? I don't think they do. Doesn't look like they do. Okay, because I was thinking maybe it, like it's it's the game's bug in that it tries to find the oh, yeah. tries to find your legendary lord fails and then just hooks it onto mine or something. I think it's back in a different way. Anywho, mm. I got to fight rebels and hopefully it will not be a stupid decision. But I have a fairly big army and they have skeletons for the most part. Zombie so, I mean, they can mobs, not the best, but skeletons even worse. And they just have a bunch of hellbats to assist. Oh, well, bloody corpses! You're gonna set them for Hellbats. Hellbats are genuinely better than the spin. 
It's just there's only 60 of them. <laughs> And of course you have range units and I don't, which is a big problem. It is a bit of a problem, I suppose. Yep, looks like we're just gonna fight on a hill, hooray! That we are, that we are, my dear. Did you call me my dear? Did you call me dear? I did. Are you kept out of my this? A little? <laughs> Excellent, that was exactly my plan. You know, I feel like I shouldn't be though, because I'm leading an army of skeletons. Like, I'm supposed to be past the point of freaking out. I'm, I'm like a necromancer, you know? <laughs> Necromancers can still freak out, it's just the skeletons who are not supposed to. Hey, I guess this guy's only a vampire. Yeah, even more so, he's supposed to feel things, maybe. Yeah, okay. Um, so, oh, yeah. So. Alright, fire? the firing line has commenced! <laughs> Let's watch as all of the units get absolutely slaughtered. Alright, so that's charging in as they take out in the seal things. Cycle charging is actually kind of worthless with these guys, I don't know why I'm doing it. They're, they're, they're going. The units are moving. They are moving indeed. Oh god! Explosion 1. <laughs> yeah. Fall in on them from behind. Maybe I can do something with that. Oh, one of my units is wiped out. That makes me very happy. Fine. Oh. Have the magic dragon? You naughty boy. My boys are rallying. What? I guess because they're crumbling. Indeed. Uh, the vampire fleet admiral's really hurting me. Mm hmm. Good. Supposed to. Not good, bad. Your deckhand, your deckhand gunnery. The, your, your zombie pirate deckhand mobs are too good at meat shields. <laughs> Everything's really dying. Alright, let's see. <laughs> Not much else to do. I'm just murdering the remains. Remains. Yeah, the remains died so quickly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they, they really don't have much health, do they? Ah, scatters. Yeah. And my oh, units God. are... It's kind of... It's a funny thing, honestly, because my units are actually higher tier than scatters. Yeah. And that usually doesn't happen. I'm used to fighting with something that's fast here. Come on, so close to killing out one star. Nope. <laughs> Excellent. Decisive war. victory. Family feud was the achievement I got. Don't know what that is about. Probably like kill the other type, attack the other, destroy a lord of the other type of undead or something. Maybe. Could have simulate captives out, rather ram some captives though. Did I change my scenes? I did, thank goodness. So, enemy killed in battle, excellent uh, province saved from rebellion, and now, even with taxes, this province is not rebelling, although it is losing vampiric corruption every time, which is unfortunate. But so mm. it is. I can't give it a meat market, however. Why is it a meat market? I don't know, but it's giving me more income. Or I could give it a port. So better port gives me extra 200 income, better market gives me extra two, also 200 income, but it's cheaper. So I'm gonna go to the meat market. Excellent. 
Although the, of course, the port gives you like growth and stuff. But sure. Yeah, it does. But whatever. Let's go to Monop of the Fallen Gods next. Maybe try to colonize this. That's tempting. Strike now, crewmen. I'll start walking that direction. Either way, I have to walk south. Words somewhat. This monolith of the fallen gods it keeps getting captured and the sack and <laughs> <laughs> I know, it really is. Okay, next up I need to level my hero. Because he actually gained a level and I cannot wait for him to be level five. Because then I can assign him an office. Okay, I can give him always ready, which gives him more ammunition and speed. Interesting. Money jacket, which is ward save, okay. Hunger. Ooh, the hunger is really good. Spiteful shot he already has, his prank presence. Hmm. He's a caster, I suppose. The well... He, your vampi the Vampire Fleet Admirals are, like, hybrids. Yeah. The Hunger is really good when you're in melee, but this guy's not really supposed to be in melee, I don't think. His stats are... Let's see, his uh, weapon strength is actually really high. Uh, weapon attack, his, melee defense uh, is low. Melee attack and melee defense is decent. I will give him the Hunger, this will allow him to stay in fight once everything is broken. Fit of regeneration never had anybody. Especially not the undead. And no dead to raise. Strange since I've just killed a bunch of dead. Okay, I can re repair the structures of Swamp Town. Is it worthwhile? Eh, it's cheap to repair the central structure. The port I can't afford to repair, even if I wanted to. Port Reaver is actually yeah, losing the central structure you start getting the garrison back. Port Reaver is actually losing a lot of approval because of the sack. I forgot it's a thing. I only need to pop law back in there. Next turn, or in like two turns or something. And right. Is the sack just a one turn penalty though? Either way, oh, no. it's it's a, it's a ten turn penalty. Either way, yeah. I want to go there to actually get some flying units at some point. Anyway, and ten mm -hmm. over to you. All right, lock here. There's a rebellion. And I unlock the achievement of Black Art Corsair. I don't know what that is, but sure. Um, these guys are really pathetic. They have a Rat Ogre, I guess. But these guys are really pathetic. I kind of want them to still live, though, purely for the... Bonus to uh, public uh, order. Bonus. Yeah. Hmm? Bonus to public order. I, I know you. I hear you, I mean. <sighs> So it's just a case of whether I want to go forward into Harkins lands, or do I want to return down... I could always go attack the Vulture of the Dawn, but this is all way too far away, let's just not... It that. would unite your uh, province with the Citadel of Dusk. It would, and Citadel of Dusk is a very profitable region. For, for a minor settlement. Yeah, it's only a minor settlement, we would get the major one as well. And it's very easy to defend, since it's far away from it's everything so else. so far away though. Are you a pirate? That's not that far away from somebody who can sail. Besides, you one, have two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have three armies. You can just send one army there, and the rest of the armies uh, against Harkon. Admiral Barthazar cannot help in the um, in the fight, though. Oh, well, you don't have to send him in there. You can just send one of the armies. It will be enough, most likely, after a siege. Well, either way, you do raise a very valid point. Let's get a fourth army. Oh no. Finally! I get to use my faction ability! It has taken 30 turns too long. But... I have a second Black Ark! Yeah, it, it just keeps getting worse and worse. For me at any rate, for him it's awesome. <laughs> I can recruit from both at once! <laughs> Uh. Yeah, I'll, I guess I'll leave Circus here for now. Uh, just take Lock here over to the Blood Swamp. Start taking that. She can she can join later. She'll be fast enough. This this Admiral. Oh, he can't do anything this turn. But uh, there's I'm sure there's floats and stuff for him to start taking if he just starts low, going around the coast. And Barthazar, of course, you are now the ultimate gargantuan Black Ark. Kind of a waste when I haven't given you anything to do with it, but um, yeah, good for you. And I'm just gonna wait for this uh, rebellion to uh, do stuff. And uh... the Citadel Dusk is now at minus 94. Um, I'll give it another turn or two, and then I'll use the right 
so that she, it won't be uh, upsetting me at all. I wish somebody would do something to make it rebel against you, that would be hilarious. Uh, I can take a bit of minor attrition. Maybe I need to go full speed ahead just to get out of it. There is that thing as well. Yeah, let's just, let's full speed ahead just to get out of the situation. There we go. This guy's not going full speed ahead. Yeah, you go full speed ahead, man. You you are untouchable on the waves, so feel free. Yes to the waves, exactly. And, uh, yeah, I think this is, um, the end of my turn. Excellent. And most likely the end of the video as well. Since mm -hmm. we have been recording for over an hour. Are you up yeah. for one more? Uh, that, one that one battle uh, put us up to, like, 40 minutes. So, yeah. Yeah, it did. Oh! Skrulk wants me to join the war against the Southern Sentinels. That's, that's a fair, reasonable request considering that they are actually fighting and doing well against you they might even be arguably winning uh, no they're not but I'll, I'll do that sure um if you want to give me some money <laughs> as always money hungry well yes i'm a pirate it's what we do i suppose you, you have a point because you're dead uh, that's oh, very rude really to bite out my race. Well, you racist bastard. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this was Pangolin Advisor, joined by Gaslayer99, aka No Brainer. We thank you for watching. Are ready for duty, Salustra Diaphin? Oh my, next uh, video is going to be a juicy one. Time for revenge. What are you talking about? This one's be real juicy. I have captured the Elder of the Horn Rat! Hmm. <laughs> I don't see where my hero is though. Like it says, ready for duty. I don't see her. It's pointing out. Actually, it. higher at the at a higher place. Maybe, maybe. Anyway, we thank you for watching, and we'll see you online.